All right, practice problem number four says, alphabetize the list of files in your current working directory, then print each file name on a separate line. Well, this is really gonna be a, a very similar problem to what we just got done doing. So let's um, just hack together some of the code that we have here. So if we um, look at the script that we had up here, this is where we have the list deer function that lists all of the items in the directory. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and go down, put it down in an empty cell near the bottom. And um, then I'm gonna go to my code here. So what, so the, what the script does right now is to just simply uh, list all of the files and directories that are in there. So what I, but essentially I have the same kind of data structure as I had in the word list problem. I had um, a list and I, and I wanted to alphabetize it and then I wanted to print it. So really all I need to do is just copy the code that I used here and go down here and paste it in. Now the difference is of course, um, that my list is not called word list. It's called items in working directory. So I will sort the items in the working directory and then I will step through them in my uh, for loop. Probably would be better if I didn't call them words. I should probably use something like uh, Kyle or Okay, so I think I've got it. So I'll take the um, function that outputs the list, then sort the list, then um, tell people what they're getting and step through each item. Let's see if that works. Okay, that looks a whole lot cleaner than what I had before. And of course, I also have the problem that they are separated into lowercase and uppercase things, which in this case is not too bad because a lot of the folder names are actually in uppercase and a lot of the file names are in lowercase. Um, it would actually be nice to have a script that would alphabetize them, but still keep track of what the string is without removing the capitalization, but that's a little bit more of a challenging programming problem, and I don't think we know enough about the more complicated data structures that would make this job easier, so we'll not worry about that for right now.